In the whitening process. Step 1. Activate the main power switch located on the side of the power supply module. The dash side of the button should be pressed for the unit to be in the on position. Step 2. Adjust the back of the chair to a comfortable position, approximately reclined 30 degrees. This is the easiest position for lamp placement, but adjust appropriately for patient comfort. Step 3. Attach the light guide to the lamp. The lamp will not turn on if the light guide is not in place. The display will read ready when the light guide is attached. The light guide is designed to ensure proper distance to the light and maintain light exposure to the smile zone. Step 4. Slide the lamp into place next to the patient. Step 5. Activate the lamp by pressing the on button located on the display panel. Step 6. Slightly loosen the knobs at the end of the boom for proper adjustment. The arm should be movable but stable. Step 7. Position the lamp head to the patient's smile zone, aligning the slots on the light guide with the retractor. Step 8. Place the end of the retractor into the slots located on either side of the light guide. Step 9. Press the start button on the display panel to turn on the light and activate the timer. It will begin the 15 minute countdown. It is normal for the light to flicker for the first few seconds. Be sure to check on the patient regularly during this period. If you plan to leave the room for an extended time, provide the patient with a means to contact you, such as a small bell. It is also helpful to have a paper and pencil available in case the patient needs a means of communication. Point out to the patient that the progress of each session will be tracked by four lights on top of the lamp head. A light will appear for each 25% of the session. These lights are also helpful for checking on the patient's progress and time remaining. Section 8. End Cycle. The lamp will beep once when three minutes are remaining and again three times on the final three seconds of the cycle with one long beep when the time reaches zero. The light will automatically turn off when the cycle is complete. Step 1. Remove the light guide from the retractor. Gently pull the lamp away from the patient while maintaining the vertical position. Step 2. Remove the gel with surgical suction and wipe the surface of the enamel clean with damp gauze. Do not irrigate. The force of the water may pull the dam loose and saturate the isolation materials. Step 3. Check the isolation materials to ensure they are intact and no pink is visible. If the patient notes sensitivity at the margin due to tissue oxidation, open the vitamin E oil and use the brush to apply the oil to the sensitive area. The vitamin E will help to soothe the tissue and act as a barrier against further gel contamination. The vitamin E oil can be applied to any tissue that has had contact with the whitening gel and may be sensitive or has turned white from the oxidation. Step 4. Apply Zoom 2 starter swabs to the top and bottom arches as before. Step 5. To ensure a fresh mix of amorphous calcium phosphate, bleed the syringe to remove the oxygenated gel. Extrude the fresh, clear gel into a dampen dish and apply as before with the enclosed brush. Step 6. Turn the lamp on and use the horizontal movement to reposition the light. Attach the light guide to the retractor and press the start button to activate the timer. Repeat these steps for a third session to complete a full 45 minutes of whitening. Section 9, Isolation Removal and Post-Treatment. Step 1, remove the light guide from the slots and gently pull the lamp from the patient. Slide the lamp out of the way. Step 2, suction the gel from the teeth. Use damp gauze to remove the residual gel. Step 3, use the cotton pliers to grasp the gauze isolation and gently pull. All of the isolation material should pull free from the mouth in one unit. The retractor should remain in place. If the gauze is excessively dry, 
Moisten it lightly before removal. Step 4. Completely rinse the teeth and irrigate the oral cavity. If liquid dam remains interproximally, remove with floss. Step 5. Dry the facial surface of the teeth with gauze. At this time, the teeth are dehydrated and may be sensitive to air. Syringe the satin finish potassium nitrate and sodium fluoride gel directly onto the teeth and allow it to remain for five minutes. A complete application requires approximately half of one syringe. At five minutes, suction and wipe. Lightly use air to remove remaining material. Now it's time to judge the initial whitening results. With the retractor still in place, use the shade guide to determine the after shade. Document in the patient's chart and with a photograph. Finally, review the post-treatment care instructions with the patient and provide the card included in the kit for reference. Explain to the patient that the teeth are more susceptible to restaining over the next 48 hours. The teeth may continue to lighten during this period and the patient must be careful not to consume any staining foods or beverages. It is recommended that the patient return for a 48-hour recall appointment to document the final whitening true effect of the Zoom 2 chair-side system. This is also a good time to dispense the take-home trays and whitening gel for maintenance care. Additional satin finish gel can also be dispensed to the patient at this time.